If you want to use the classic 1176 compressor on a stereo signal, you can go the easy way and simply use a software plugin. If you want to do it the old fashioned way, analog, and in hardware, you would need to get two units, modify them to work in stereo, since the 1176, of course, is a mono compressor. Or you can grab your soldering iron and build yourself the MS76, a stereo 1176 kit from PCB Grinder. There are two versions of the kit. The basic one comes with PCBs and all the electronic components, but is missing things like VU meters, knobs, or the power transformer. The other version has all these parts included and comes with a case and a front panel. I went the middle road, no case, but I got all the missing parts from PCB Grinder. And yes, it's a lot of parts. You will need time to sort through everything. PCBs, by the way, have a great layout and are really high quality, which was the case for all PCB grinder stuff that I've built before. The PDF manual explains everything really well, but it can be a bit vague on small details, especially if you have no knowledge in electronics. There are easier kits out there with less parts and even more detailed instructions, but of course not an 1176. If you have built one or two kits before and you know how to use a multimeter, multimeter, that's the word the German stumbles over, if you know how to use this, then the kit is easily doable. The 1176 is of course one of the most famous classic compressors. Released not in 76, but that's weird, in 1967, it was the first solid state device on the market. Solid state of course means no tubes and no light cell like uh, the LA2A had. And here's where the kit differs a bit from the original, no input or output transformers, but you can buy a pair of Lundahl output transformers as an option. Uh, the 1176 is a really fast compressor and peak limiter, although it's probably more famous for setting with a slow attack time to give more attacks and more punch to a snare drum. We will see if this compressor can do it in the audio examples later. By the way, yes, you still can buy the analog hardware from Universal Audio or from other companies. You can buy the compressor as a plug-in from Waves or others. And there are a couple of DIY kits out there. I even built a version in the API 500 format that's really, really close to the original. But of course, they are all mono. If you want stereo, you either need to build the MS76 or there's a stereo commercial product from IGS in Poland, but that's around 1700 euros. The main PCB is done and we're moving to those little additional boards. The big one is for the power supply and the rest mounts pots and switches on the front panel. These are quickly built. If you don't buy the case, you also have to do your own front panel. You can download a template for the front panel designer, which I use as a guideline, but I do my own design in Illustrator. First, I choose a font that has a nice retro look while still being easy to read. Across the river, there's a woman I know. Then I design my own scales. And I knock on a door I say, baby, baby, baby Let's waste some time I 
move everything around a bit, try some colors, print it on paper, stick it to a piece of cardboard and simply test that everything fits and no parts are touching each other um, or are touching the case uh, in front or in the back. The case is from Modushop in Italy. They make really high quality custom cases in all possible sizes and the front panel I directly ordered with a front panel designer software. Every so often there's a girl's night out in the wee wee hour she comes calling all right saying baby 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 let's wait some time so if you ain't got nothing better to do let's wait some This is the part that takes most of the time, assembling and wiring everything together. This took ages. But it's actually the most fun part for me because everything turns slowly into like a real device. I even 3D printed some cable clips and tried to wire it as neatly as possible. step is a little bit of calibration. Okay, now for some quick audio examples. I'm trying not to do like unrealistic compression. While that's easily audible, even if you're watching on your phone right now, that's usually not, uh, not something you would do in a real world music production scenario. Um, and I'm also not going to run an already compressed and mastered commercial mix through it. So I would suggest get yourself some really good speakers or some really good headphones uh, and also look in the bottom left corner, that's the insert of Pro Tools. If it's white or light gray, that means uh, the compressor is on. And the first example of course is snare drum with a slow attack time, fast release time and uh, we're trying to get the most famous 1176 punch for the snare drum. Second example, same snare drum, but now let's try the uh, API version of the compressor because this one has the input and the output transformer.
Third example is stereo compression. And keep in mind, this is an MS compressor. That means the first channel compresses the mid signal, everything that's mixed to the middle. And the second channel compresses the stereo signals, everything that's mixed either to the left or to the right. Yeah? And the example that I have has a clap and a snare mixed to the middle and they're quite loud. And now I can compress them a bit more to get a more evenly mix. And in the end, you heard the mid signal and the side signal uh, uh, separately. And if you didn't hear anything, you're still watching on your phone. Okay, last example. Let's compare the 1176 to a GSSL compressor. That's a SSL compressor clone. Uh, and see if the MS76 can do some subtle compression. Final words, great compressor, great kit, and you'll find all the links in the video description. If you want to see more, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. This was my very, very first video in English. Uh, as you might guess, I usually do it in German. So if you want more, let me know. Uh, thanks for your time. Cheers from Cologne. My name is Götz. Bye-bye. Ciao.